Okay, let's take a look at the projects you're going to do. The first one you're going to do for your final assignment is a vowel script. And what it's going to do is it's going to take a block of text and it's going to count all the characters, including the spaces. So spaces count as characters in this. And it's going to get all the vowels A, E, I, O, and U. It does not need to do the sometimes Y. So when we look at the file, the test file that you're going to have that you need to use, um, and you have to use this file, is provided in, in uh, Blackboard. And it's this right here. So this is basically the, the test text that we're going to have when we, uh, when we run this thing. Okay? And so when you do it, what you'll do is you're just going to go dot slash, and then whatever the name of your file is, vowels sh is mine, hit the enter key. It may take a couple of seconds, but that's what it's going to um, spit out. So you should be somewhere in this you know range. I, you know You should be actually exactly at this number and you should come back with exactly this much if you're one or two off i'm not going to really have much of an issue about it. it could just be the way the file got copied or whatever but you should be definitely well within this range so like i say one or two off i'm okay with it all right um the next one is the calculator project and so that one uh i just call mine calculator sh and it's going to ask um the user for uh the first number the second number and then what they want to do. It only does two numbers and they must be whole numbers. Okay, so first I'm going to enter everything wrong, something like that, and I get you must enter two whole numbers because I didn't do that here. Remember, they have to be whole numbers. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this thing again. I'll do uh, two, I'll do four, and then I'm going to um, put in the incorrect operator like a Q. All right, and then it's going to say you must enter the correct operator, A or M or D or S. So it checks to make sure. A whole number was entered, and it also checks to make sure the user um, did, uh, selected the, select, the correct operator here. All right, so if uh, we do something like 2, and we do 4, and we do divide, you're going to get a kind of a weird number, weird thing with this. Um, don't worry about that. That technically isn't going to work, okay? Not in our circumstance. So you don't need to worry about that. We're going to pretend that, the, um, that they'll always do the right thing. Okay, which never happens, but that's what we're going to pretend. So, uh, if we do it right, we do 4, and then we do 2, and divide. So, 2 goes into 4. The quotient is 2, the whole number remainder of 0. So, um, this part is like a modulus, all right? Well, 2 goes into 4 two times, and there's nothing left over. No whole number remainders. Now, let's go up here, try it again. I'm going to do 7, and then I'm going to do 5. And then here, I'm going to do um, divide, all right? And now you can see the quotient is 1 with a whole number remainder of 2, which is 2. 5 goes into 7 one time, and then what's remaining out of that is 2. So that's basically how you're going to do the division. Of course, if you um, try to do something like uh, 7 and then 0 and then divide, you're going to get you cannot divide by 0. So we'll check for that as well. Uh, other than that, the rest of them will... will just work just fine. Again, we're not being doing anything with um, you know decimal numbers. It's all going to be just whole numbers. Very simple calculator.